hi ladies and gentlemen you are welcome back to my channel today basically i want to share with you how you can formulate your fish feed as well as how you can calculate the overall crude protein content of your feed a lot of people always see uh, the labels especially if you buy the foreign feeds or the already bagged feeds you always see uh, as part of the label they write something cp that cp means crude protein and you may be wondering how do they arrive at that value so this video is going to give you an insight into how you can calculate it and in case you wish to um start mailing your own feed you will also learn that in this video so make sure you stay um, attentive to the end of this video so that you understand what I'll be showing you mailing your own feed is the secret to profitability so you need to learn how you can calculate CP successfully otherwise a lot of um, milling houses they're going to be eating your your ad and fonts so without wasting much of your time it's already two minutes let's start it okay guys so i told you i want to teach you how you can calculate the overall crude protein in your feed now i'm going to be laying emphasis on uh, just 100 kg so let's assume you want to prepare feed of 100 kg in weight you can use this formula and even if you are going to be doing less than 100 kg like 50% uh, you can still use this same formula or if you want to make a thousand kg you can still use the same formula it's only that you are going to either multiply or you divide now uh, I'll be sharing with you, as seen in the uh, research reports, a lot of people have carried out researches on, what do we call it, on the percentage of crude protein in each of the contents we are going to be using for making our feed meal. So for today, we are going to be making use of uh, like... Uh, six main uh, contents exceptional we are going to be exempting the premix and other items but for the sake of this video i just want to base my my emphasis on the blood meal we're going to be using blood meal share bean meal we are going to be making use of GNC, we are going to make use of maize, we are going to make use of fish meal, we are going to make use of wheat offer. Okay, a lot of people might be asking, what is fish meal again? Fish meal is actually, um, it, it, it is made up of different type of fishes that have already dried up and also different types of aquatic animals such as the crayfish the soft body animal like the crustaceans and the likes that have been blended together so that is what makes a fish meal now i'm going to be reading to you as given by the researchers research shows that a blood meal which is popularly called BM, has a percentage crude protein to be within 80 to 85 percent. And that of uh, soya bean meal, it has between 43 to 48 percent. GNC, which stands for granite cake, has 23 percent. For maize, the crude protein in maize is between 8 to 11 percent. And for the fish meal, the one I was explaining to you, it has between 60 to 72 percent. Why? For wheat offer, it has 14 to 17 percent. Most of all these uh, ingredients are easily accessible. Is something you can easily get 
within your reach so that is why i am choosing them for making our feed now in order for you to prepare 100 kg of fish feed with overall 41 percent overall crude protein at least 41 percent which is certain you will need 10 kg of um what do you call it blood meal you will need 20 kg of soybean meal you will need 20 kg of gnc you will need 10 kg of maize and you also need 30 kg of fish meal and the last one is going to be 10 kg of wheat offer actually if you are adding up everything together this is going to give you uh, 100 kg but don't forget when you are making fish meal you will also need to add vitamin you are going to need to add some salt you will also need to add something we call premix like the lysine you need to add lysine you need to add methionine so but those ones they are negligible the the the, the percentage of that is within one percent so and if you are making a feed of 100 kg and eventually made 101 kg you will see that that one kg additional is negligible so that is why i do not consider them in this formulation now we want to calculate the overall cp and uh, don't forget that i told you i'll be making use of the lower value the one i circled the lower cp value or raw value now let's go back to our calculation 80 percent is the same thing as 80 over 100 that is 80 divided by 100 and i told you you will need 10 kg come here can you see i told you you will need 10 kg of the uh, blood meal you will need 10 kg of it so overall if you do the calculation press your calculator that is 80 divided by 100 the answer you are getting multiplied by 10 you will have 8 for the following and the subsequent ones you just do that and now if you are able to do everything perfectly well you will arrive at 41.4 percent so that is the overall crude protein your feed is going to give you so let's assume you are looking for 36 percent crude protein you can quickly see and derive that you already prepared 41.4 percent now if you are not using the upper value for instance like the blood meal if you are using 85 percent as against 80 percent we use for our calculation for soybean meal, if you are using 48% as against 43% and the other ones like that, if you do it properly, you will have additional 5.7 as your result. So adding this 5.7 to 41.4 you initially got, you will end up having 47.1% uh, as your overall crude protein so ladies and gentlemen that is how you calculate your crude protein okay a lot of people will be asking how do i arrive at the uh, the kgs i use for the blood meal the soya bean meal the gnc the maize the fish meal and others now if you are to do that let me just give you this as a tip any feed me you are going to prepare make sure the inclusion rate that is the percentage of blood meal in your feed doesn't exceed 10 percent as well as the fish meal should not be less than 30 percent i hope you you understand now so those two make it a fix your blood mean should not exceed 10 percent 
as well as your fish meal should not be less than 30 percent it can be more than but you know fish meal is expensive so but just make sure it's not less than 30 percent so if you're able to do that you know if you are in, in uh, 100 kg feed you already took 10 kg of blood meal you already took 30 kg of fish meal so that sums up to 40 kg so the remaining 60 percent is something you can play around with i hope you understand so but what you need to do is you need to calculate the CP, the crude protein in each of the content or in each of the uh, ingredients you want to use in order to know the, the kgs you'll be needing. I already did the calculation and that's why I was able to arrive at the values I used in this demonstration video. I hope you understand now. So if you are still finding it difficult, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the section below this video or if you have my number already feel free to contact me i'll be available to assist you for free yeah for free well, ladies and gentlemen if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for hit the red button subscribe let's build one wonderful community together you know i love you stay safe cheers